Yo, yo, yo. It's been a while since we did much streaming <sighs> from the road. So I thought we'd do one. Give people a little bit of time to get in here. YouTube's pretty bad about notifying. Like Twitch is much better um, when you go live. We'll speak them at 70. We'll go a little faster. What up, Leon? Uh, I've been listening to I've been listening to High Growth Handbook. You know, uh, you got to learn when you when your when your startup is poised for breakout success. They got to tell you about how to do it. You know, I don't. <laughs> Are you getting it confused with Finland? Uh, look, look, there's a person. It's in Idaho. What up, Revan? Um, yeah, it's been a while since we've done a done an open pilot cruising stream. Um, that's a bit fast. The speed limit's 70. It's 70. Uh, I'm on my way to Salt Lake City. Getting back to work on Monday. Uh... You know, we got a lot of we got a lot of growth to do this year and next. Um, we have some unbelievable things in the pipeline. Uh, can you do eighty? Sure. There's the refactor model branch. I was driving on yesterday. It's not as good. There's a few bugs in the new model, but. I think we know what they are and the cool things it shows like road edges in red it detects four lanes uh these things won't be used to actually control the car but they will be used for our mapping efforts we're getting back into mapping but we're doing it uh in a very cheap way and then one of the big things that we're trying to build out next year is navigation uh, so by the end of next year it is my dream and I'll, I'll look at you when i tell you about my dream it is my dream that we will have our first trip to Taco Bell without a disengagement. Um, yeah, right now the speed's limited to uh, 73. It's only going 72. There's a tiny mismatch between the speedometer and the real speed. That's less on Hyundai than Toyota. Um, nah, not through the drive-thru. Not through the drive-thru. I'll be happy if it just gets you it's not going to drive in the parking lot either, but it's going to get you to the parking lot of a Taco Bell. Yeah, it's going to do turns, bros. Yo, you guys know Open Pilot can already do turns if it had enough torque. Um, just there's, you can send, uh, you know, desires to the model. Um, and we have six desires. There's lane change left, lane change right, keep left, keep right. The keeps don't really work due to bugs in the ground truth, but the other two are turn left and turn right. And if you put those in and you have a car with sufficient torque, um, it will make the turn, I believe. I mean, we've never tried it. It's not that practical yet. Um, you know, you know. Uh, Something, something, more cameras, something, something. Uh, <laughs> All right, ready? We'll do, we'll do a lane change here. Oops. Yeah, look at that lane change. Speed up a little bit. Got to pass this, uh, what's that thing carrying? It's carrying like some, some girders. Building a bridge somewhere, bro. Um, so I've been driving, I've put almost 2,500 miles on open pilot on this road trip. Um, it's almost perfect, uh, at least for like any boring kind of roads. Uh, I was using it up in the mountains in Colorado, very impressed. Um, places where no stock lane keep. In fact, I did have, I did have one place where I ran into can errors, which are hopefully going to be fixed in the new Neo S. So I fell back to the stock Hyundai system. You just can't, it's unusable. When, when you expect a system where touching the wheel is an anomaly and not a frequent occurrence, it's so much of a different mentality that you have to be in. You know, it's the hardest thing to convey. 
I think we, we I saw that tweet where we showed Open Pilot driving through a rainstorm uh, and like a dense rainstorm, like some Florida, some Florida downpour kind of rain. Uh, how do you convey? How do you convey that you're just so much better than all the stock lane keeping assist? Um, so I'm not on. I'm, this is just master. I'm not on any of the new. Um, Adib's been doing a great job. Uh, stability, reducing CPU usage. One of the things that's going to come in Neo S15 is we're going to downclock the CPU slightly, uh, so we should be able to get much better thermals out of these things with a slightly downclocked CPU. Uh, message retracted. I don't know what that means. But yeah, we're chilling. If anyone has questions, it's question time. I got an interview at three. I'm in mountain time here. Um, Volvo support. Oh, there are dozens of you. Wow, dozens. That sounds like something to commit engineering to. Um, oh, when I was sick at January CES? No, I got an antibody test. I don't think I've had COVID. Um, I think I'm immune though, you know? Uh, I just think, I just think like I have natural, natural immunity or something. What, what's going on here? Why did everyone get in that lane? Oh, because there's a thingy over there. Um, there are dozens of Volvo people. Yeah, so I don't know about Flex, right? What do I think about the new Apple Maps? Apple Maps is pretty good. My eyes are on the road. It would yell at me if my eyes were on did, did it yell at me? Good job, uh, Don't hit any cones, you know? It'd be kind of embarrassing if you hit a cone. Yeah, you know, the new laneless policy should keep it a little more to the left here. I would like, I would like slightly more left. Once we get better with laneless, oh, we're rolling through a construction site here. I got my hand on the wheel right now. That's why I'm getting that beep. I'm just pulling it more to the outside of the lane than it wants to go right now. This will be fixed once we depend more on laneless. So it's, it's a trade-off. Um, you can trade off like rock solid stability for being able to deviate slightly outside of the lanes in cases like that. Uh, so, we don't have to explicitly detect the traffic cones. We don't explicitly detect, uh, uh, yeah, moving over for semis and stuff, yeah. That's, um, I mean, you can switch right now. You can go in and you can disable the lanes, and it should already do that with the path, but then it won't feel as stable in the center of the lanes. So, it's trade-off. Uh, but we can work to, to get better at both. Um, with new model releases, you know, we've been working really, we've been working really hard on the new, on the new model. Um, HD Maps is good. So the, one of the other things the new model does is the new model doesn't just have two lanes; it has four lanes as well as two road edges. Uh, and this is largely possible thanks to what people have been doing in the uh, Comma 10K project. Um, so if you check out Comma 10K, uh, you can see people contributing and now it detects tons of lanes. Ah, oh, my face is uncertain because the phone is being held in the way of the camera. See? Um, Jordan Peterson has a comma? It's news to me. Uh, yeah, but so once we have once we have four lane outputs and road edges, we should even be able to use just the queue logs to stitch together uh, good enough HD maps. We care about lane accuracy for two reasons. Um, not not we're not going to use the maps for any kind of um, policy, but we can do two things for the map. We can know where disengagements are more likely to happen. I think this is going to be a requirement for level three. I think it's going to be very hard to do level three without a large fleet and maps because, or at least some kind of implicit maps saying, I have been in this lane 10,000 times and have never made a mistake. Uh, 
So, but again, it doesn't actually influence the policy. It influences kind of the meta policy. Uh, I wish YouTube kept the chats around because you guys post and then, and then it goes away when I look over. Um, do you have any ideas why the driving assistance systems are so bad? Because they're very hard to build. Um, they're, oh, we can, we can up the speed a little bit. Um, they're, they're very hard to build. There's so much subtlety that goes into it. Uh, for example, uh, so unfortunately, my windshield got hit by a rock, and you can see my crack in the windshield, right? Uh, so this sucks, because, you know, we're going to have to get the windshield replaced. And replacing the windshield requires recalibration of the factory ADAS camera. Uh, and it's because they just, you know, they didn't write a good calibration routine. It's something we put a lot of time into. Um, there's a ton of subtlety in being able to deal with banked roads. Uh, there's a lot of subtlety in what the definition of a lane is. If you're trying to do things based on lanes and cars, you will hit a ceiling pretty fast. Um, I think the ceiling on lanes and cars is super cruise. Like, if you're using lanes and cars explicitly, you can never build something better than Super Cruise. And you'll always be, you'll always have to geofence to places like this. Uh, was this road used as training data? Honestly, I have no idea. We don't really track that. That doesn't matter. Um, but it works. Uh, make sure we don't, we don't actually explicitly exclude roads in the test. Uh, where's the cowboy hat? It's in the back seat. Drive around with the cowboy hat. Uh, I don't want to bring back general chat. I think, I think that as we grow, we need more structure in the Discord. I think there's lots of places online to shit talk about self-driving cars. Uh, what GPUs do we use for not our not a data center? Well, well, in our in our in our in our small research cluster, we use 1080 Ti's, uh, and I would love to have some 3080s, but I don't know if you guys followed that this morning. What a fiasco! Did I buy all the 3080s? I wish. I don't think we got a single 3080. Um, despite everybody waking up, my speed limit's 55. Hang on, I'm gonna slow down here. Uh, despite everybody waking up and trying to get their orders in, and we all spammed the website, we spammed Best Buy. I don't know. I don't think there were any 3080s. I think it was just a troll. They just went to NVIDIA employees. All right, hang on. I gotta pay attention here, more so than usual. Oh, do I use Quadros? Well, how rich you think I am? You know, we didn't, we didn't, we didn't raise Buku dollars. What's your Waymo question again? Sorry, let me just... I gotta deal with this. We gotta... Uh, we're, we're, we're driving into a construction zone. I mean, I don't have to deal with it. I'm not doing anything, but... We just gotta pay extra careful, vigilant attention. We don't wanna hit a cone, you know? The cone would feel bad. Yeah, see? I wish our policy could move us slightly more to the left side of the lane here. Not bad... And it will do it here. Look, oh, it does it so well there. Oh, look, when the lane lines disappear. Oh, that was beautiful. Um, but yeah, like if one of those cones was slightly out in the road, you can see the car in front of me has moved over maybe, maybe 20, 30 centimeters. Um, I wish YouTube kept the chat around because I'd like to respond to all your things, but I'm going to miss them because I can't really look at the chat right now. Watch, it's gonna move over here. It's gonna move over. Oh, so nice. So nice. Let me get it back in this lane. Put my speed back up. Sometimes I feel when I'm driving with open pilot, I feel like I'm a conductor. You know? What was your question? If you just literally paste the same thing again. I know it sucks, but YouTube. Did I start with my own PC as a training machine? Hell yeah. Yeah, the first thing was trained on one Titan X that I had in my machine. Can the driver facing camera be fooled by the sunglasses? It's not going to track your eyes. So yeah, I mean, um, if you fall, if you manage to fall asleep staying, you can't see through the sunglasses. 
Uh, so if you manage to fall asleep looking perfectly straight with sunglasses, it won't catch you. Um, but no, I mean, you can, it still detects. I think you saw it, you saw it trigger on me a few times. We use meta reinforcement learning. I'm not sure what that is. Uh, so we're closer to level five? Yeah, yeah, we're, we're closer, thank you. Waymo question, why does Waymo not use Mu Zero stuff? Ah, uh, next year we're really moving into Mu Zero stuff. The, the big thing on top of my board in my office is thinking and vision features. Um, we, made a, we made a hire uh, recently too, who's gonna, who's gonna, Pi Torch expert, who's gonna help with this stuff. We are, how does it behave with no lane lines? Sometimes it behaves better. I mean, if you saw if you saw that cone scenario, it actually behaved better. Uh, when it has the lane lines, it uses them to enforce dead center. We'll, we'll, we'll figure out ways to trade off this policy nicely. Um, humans, look at look at this guy. Like, look at this guy in front. He just drifted over the lane line. Uh, and you know, you'd be upset if your open pilot did that. So it's again, I'm gonna mimic human policy exactly. We'll, we'll figure it out. Oh my hackers, they're not real. Uh, thank you. Where does Comma AI fit now that car drivers are working on their own self-driving? They've been working on their own self-driving for five years. The problem, the problem is, and I've been listening to, to High Growth Handbook and it becomes really obvious what the problem is. Um, let's imagine you wanted to paint the Sistine Chapel, right? And you're not even a clever startup. You're, you're way more right? Or Cruz. You're, you're, you're like, look at Calvo, right? You know, he had success in the past with startups. He has this startup mentality. It's, and, and it's no longer disruption if you're inside of this box, right? There can't be formulaic disruption. That's an oxymoron. And self-driving cars are not going to be solvable by a team that views they're people almost as like fungible tokens. The, the approaches that worked previously to managing software engineers are no longer going to work uh, when we have things that aren't just, there is no more boilerplate code anymore. Um, boilerplate code has all been replaced by, well, we've gotten to a very high level of abstraction with things. Uh, you know, the just, just the Python ecosystem and the um, will ever get as a core torque mod? Uh, yeah, I, I think he did. Um, yeah, if, you're, if you're a skilled reverse engineer, you too can have a torque modded car. Um, there's almost no more boilerplate code, and in with machine learning, it doesn't require a lot of code, it requires a small amount of very good code. So, of course, yeah, ML is holistic, exactly. And, and its holistic nature, just like building a great piece of art, imagine the statue of David was made by a committee. It wouldn't be beautiful. It wouldn't be good. It wouldn't be quality. And that's what you get from these companies. Um, they're built by committees. The person who builds the lane detector is not the person who built the car detector, who builds the cone detector, who builds... It just, yeah. Uh, there, there's not enough, you know, you can't build this like you build crud apps. Um, do I think OpenPilot is beautiful? Yeah. Uh, I think... It, it, you know, it wasn't at the beginning. At the beginning, it was kind of stupid code. Um, oh, this guy's going mad slow. Should we change lanes around them? Like 50 miles an hour. I don't know. Um... Yeah, I think this whole thing, comment itself, it's, it's a work of art. You know, what kind of, what kind of a company is this? Right? It's a hacker company. It's a company founded on the principles. Watch this, a lane change without even a lane line. Oh, that's unreal. Oh, how does it do that? What is a lane change without a lane line? Oh, how are you going to put that in your definition manual, Delphi? Pro tip, you can't. Oh yeah, look, now we're cruising around these people. Let's go. Uh, I'm just 
just gonna steer right to start the lane change. Let my car do the rest. Exactly, exactly. Um, well, hacker culture has, has values that I think are very amenable to solving this problem. Uh, hacker culture doesn't have, if you're trying to build like an e-commerce platform to empower, no, that's not built by hackers. It's built by psychopaths, man. When you look, when you look, and I've, I've read the code for all of them, when you look at the code for Windows and the code for Mac OS and the code for Linux, Windows and Mac OS, Windows especially, Windows is so unreadable. It is so inelegant. And you can tell that it was, you know, built by people who don't really care. Um, and there's a reason Linux is taking over the world. It took a long time, but um, better. There, remember, macOS is is, is open source. Um, at least the, the kernel is, and it's better, but it still has deep inelegance about it. Um, well. So predicting the next frame, the problem with predicting the next frame is what's your loss function? Uh, your loss function can't be... The beauty of predicting the next letter is categorical cross-entropy is, is so good. Um, what's zero? I don't know what that is. But yeah, we're moving a lot more to thinking in, in vision fevers. Uh, implementing some user stuff, dynamics models. We don't have to rewrite everything. Open Pilot is a project and it will eventually be done. Right? Or at least feature complete. The, the last feature let us say um we're going to have to have navigation that we saw. Um, and the, the second part of that mission, the shipping, uh, delivering shippable intermediaries is kind of just to keep us honest, right? Sometimes I get a little too pie in the sky when I'm like, oh, it's all gonna be one magic trick. It's all gonna be one mu zero. Um, but I mean, you might see that and that's how DeepMind may look externally, but I'm sure there were many iterations that they didn't publish of those things. And I figure, you know, why not publish them? Switching from C++ to C. Who would code in C anymore? I don't know, stuff. Open Pilot is, people are like, Open Pilot is Python. Open Pilot is mostly C++. Uh, it is true that the main control loop is still in Python, though. But there's no reason not to. We should have a phone mount. We should put those in all our cars. I will auto tuning use LQR. The PID controller is mostly fine. How's the navigation app going? We're still hiring uh, for it. No, we're not implementing counterfactuals yet, and I think even the first round of the dynamics model still won't. Um, the counterfact our, our current loss function probably doesn't support counterfactuals. We know how to do it, but you know it's all gradual. Level five is not really more of an insurance issue. If you build something that's 10x better than people, insurance is easy. No rear view camera. Have I tried Rust? You know, Rust is the new Haskell. Controversial opinion, Rust is the new Haskell and it's gonna go the way of Haskell. <laughs> go is inelegant crap yet, you know. <laughs> got a big following. Rust is beautiful and elegant and so is Haskell. Um, dynamic follow distance. No, I'm not implementing anything like that. You guys are just gonna have, if you want that, you're just gonna have to wait for end-to-end -end longitudinal. And to wait for end-to-end -end longitudinal, you're first gonna have to wait for true end-to-end -end lateral. 
Like we have an end-to-end -end lateral policy, but it's not yet good enough to completely remove the lane lines. Uh, that's gonna be the first step. Harold's always saying, there is no reason why our car does not drive perfectly on a highway without lanes. And he's right. Uh, so, you know, until we solve that problem, uh, walk before you can run. Uh, speed limit went down, apparently. Now, this is, this is where they love to pull you over, you know? This is, this is where they're like, oh, yes, oh, we would make the speed limit very fast, and we will make it very slow for no apparent reason, except that we can have our cops sit there and give tickets. So, you know, we got to... Uh... Hang on, I'm going to take over here. Just going to accelerate a little. All right, all right. And then we have to get on the 15 south. Oh, we're going to go through Argo, really? Trying to meet their quota. Uh, yeah, we think Mapbox will be involved. The navigation stuff is very early on. Um, if you're interested in working on that, we are hiring aggressively for that. We basically have to build out that team from scratch. Um, I think it's going to be a three or four person team uh, who's going to come to own all of the open pilot uh, UI, uh, UX, and, and, and navigation and making sure it integrates seamlessly. And then we think what you're going to do will be able to enter your destination from the uh, from the device, but we think most people are just going to use the Comma app. Um, you know, I think hopefully we can like work with Apple to get integrated as a navigation app. Hopefully that's not too hard. And then like if you're in like Airbnb, you can just say like you know navigate with Comma. Why is the city listed on the home screen always wrong? Nobody works on that shit. I'm sorry. Um, it's all kind of terrible. No one works on it. Uh, we're hiring. We have money now. We have profit now. Uh, we'd love to hire. Yeah, well, there's a comment app. Hopefully you guys already have it. You'll just be able to like click on your car and then you'll, you'll have like a default car selected. So you'll just, it'll be from your phone is kind of the point of the experience and the phone will kind of push it to the device. Uh, and the device will do the navigation for you. Yeah, we've been profitable or close to profitable all year. Uh, we had an actually profitable Q1. Um, our Q2, we ended up with more money in the bank account than we started it with, but partially that was thanks to, um, you know, free government money. Uh, and then things look good for Q3. We're, we're spending, there's a lot of layout in Q3 uh, for a new, not for your watch. Uh, there'll be a le le legit Linux phone. Oh, speed limit 80. Hell yeah, bros. Oh, let's go fast. Uh, have any car manufacturers shown interest? They have no idea how to do it. Uh, yeah, of course they've shown interest, but they have no idea how to show interest properly. Um, they show interest by reaching out through their business development arm, and that's not going to work. Um, the way that they're actually going to show interest is they're going to get ignored repeatedly when their stupid business development arm reaches out. Because you know what? And I'll say it, wow, maybe this is not that appropriate for a work stream, but Comma's not their bitch, you know? A lot of companies think startups are their bitch. And they think, oh, this startup, oh, this startup will, 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 will take whatever little crumbs we want to give them. No, <laughs> I'm going to disrupt you! <laughs> you know, think about this. Can we buy Ford? I mean, how much do we have to grow in order to buy Ford? <laughs> you know, well, actually, the other question is, how much does Ford have to shrink for us to buy Ford, right? We grow, Ford shrinks, natural order of things. You think I'm responding to some low-level BD person who's like, we are very interested in what you're doing. If you could please schedule a call so we could learn more. I'm not educating you for free, man. A thousand bucks. A thousand bucks. I'm happy to educate you, but it's a thousand bucks. Um, phone calls have been a hot selling item, but um, now you can say like, look, look, this is arrogance, right? Like, well, why are you talking like this? You know, uh, obviously, but I mean, look at Tesla, right? Look at Tesla. Imagine Tesla was like, well, all we want to do is supply batteries and drivetrains to BMW. 
No. Why do that? Um, oh, well, and then, yeah, that's the other aspect of it, too. I'm not sure these business pe- business development people are actually interested at all in integrating OpenPilot in next year's Toyota Corolla or even the Toyota Corolla five years from now. They want to declare partnerships so they can, like, they play some, like, stupid game that I don't really understand. Um, so, no. I mean, here's how it's going to work. Um, what's going to happen is, and it is already happening in some companies. You know, we track this better than they think. Uh, I think I think every major car company now has bought common devices um, and their engineers are going to start you know w- one of their engineering managers is, is going to hear about this and they're going to have a team the exploratory team for OpenPilot and the exploratory team from OpenPilot is going to try to get OpenPilot pilot working on their car or they're going to reverse engineer it they're going to read the code and then when these people reach out these are the people who are going to talk to these are the people who i'm interested in talking to once they have shown that they have like a serious team of a couple of engineers working on open pilot integration with the car well, we'd love to work with you and here's how we're going to work with you get up you know Wow, wouldn't it be great if Toyota submitted a pull request? Little thing on the Hyundai. Actually, let me see if it's fixed. There's a chance it's fixed upstream. If I tap, no, it's still broken. Um, So if I tap the blinker, the blinker state that we're actually measuring for the Hyundais is whether the physical blinker is depressed, not whether the light is blinking. So I can't do a tap lane change on the Hyundai. Um, This is a very minor bug. Uh, It has no no real implications. but it'd be nice if it was fixed. In fact, if someone wants to submit a pull request for it now, uh, I'd appreciate that. But wouldn't it be great? Uh, see, so when I tap, you see that the steer left to start lane change only appears for such a short amount of time, even though the blinker keeps going. Wouldn't it be great if Hyundai submitted a pull request to fix that? Um, yeah. And that's that's how I'd like to work with these companies. And then start, okay, you want to start building your own open pilot hardware to integrate or you want to make open pilot work on your hardware? We're happy to work with you on that. Like I'm interested in working with you on that, but you have to come to me speaking that language. Um, if you come to me speaking a different sort of language, uh, it's you know, we have no interest. Kama has zero interest in in, in, in working with those kind of people because it's 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 really a brokenness in their org structures and some companies are going to be able to fix this brokenness uh, and they're going to succeed and there are still going to be car companies around you know samsung made phones long before android um i think even huawei used to make like like bar phones that were clones of nokia or something i'm not exactly sure about that but um acceptance rate is like two percent oh you mean for Kama? yeah it's harder to get into Kama than harvard um Watch out for nails on the road. Well, I got hit by a rock in Montana. All right, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna do a passing maneuver here. Let's go. Auto lane change. Is my arm not getting tired? It's getting a little tired. Um, my cue's on Terrence Tower. All right, all right. What would the world do with the non-geniuses? All right, off topic, off topic, off topic. No, I don't think the crack can be filled because it's longer than a dollar bill. That's what they say. Um, why do you need GPS returning? We don't. Um, we're not, we're, the GPS is not, the GPS is used for, um, it's just used for calibration, really. I feel negatively about NVIDIA buying ARM for the reasons that everybody else has talked about it. Would you work with corporates that have dedicated innovation labs? No. I mean, if they if they reach out, if Toyota Innovation Lab reaches out, I, I think those companies are structured in a way that those things are basically vanity projects. Uh, no, I mean, look, our company, Com is a mission-driven company. Um, we're not We're not focused on... Uh, you know, maximizing revenue or maximizing profit or maximizing prestige or we're focused on solving self-driving cars. 
Um, they are part of solving self-driving cars. There is a technical aspect to it. There's a deployment aspect to it. Uh, if you have one self-driving car, you can kind of say you solved it. But you know, obviously, I'd like to to ship it. Um, our old slogan was ghost riding for the masses. Uh, can I rant a bit about TensorFlow? Yeah, we're switching a by door. To see it, TensorFlow. Um, let's move. Let's 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 move the phone over here for a little bit. Yeah, but then you guys can't see the open pilot. You see, I mean, if we continually show the product on stream. By the way, if you guys haven't bought one yet, buy a comma two. They're nine hundred ninety nine dollars. Uh, do we need a designer? Only if you can code. Um, like, just just somebody who stops at the Figma sketches? No. But if you can take that and you can um, implement that in, in Qt or HTML5, yeah, we're interested. Uh, and you go through a different process than... Uh, yeah, reach out. Um, you go through a different process. We're not going to put you through aggressive programming challenges. Maybe we'll do some, like, storyboarding kind of stuff. Uh, yeah. But yeah, if you can code, if you have, yeah, like, like you think you could do QT or React or, or that kind of stuff, uh, we're interested. Total miles driven by OpenPilot? Uh, I think the website says 25 million. We're probably close to 30. It goes really fast now. I mean, I added, I added 3,000 myself. At least I will by the time this trip's over. Uh, yeah, I think NVIDIA's purchasing of ARM is going to accelerate the adoption of RISC-V. React, React Native, well, it's all the same. Utilize all the driving data? No. Um, our current model is trained on, I think this model is trained on like 250,000 segments. So it's 250,000 uh, minutes of driving. The new one is 400, and hopefully by the end of the year we'll be at a million. High precision GPS is needed for calibration to understand how the car is moving through space. You can do this with other sensors, but the GPS just helps a lot. Um, Harold explained this to me. You know, I wanted to use like visual odometry to do a lot more stuff. And then like when you look at the drift of visual odometry, even in the state of the art papers, kind of has exceeded the state of the art now. We do have the best PoseNet in the world by far. But um, the PoseNet isn't like we know how the car moves like that, but it's still uh, nothing over any sort of distance compared to GPS. Uh, yeah, we're going fast. This is good. This is good. We're making progress. A Salt Lake City tonight. I love, I love when the arrival, you know, the arrival's been ticking down. I do have to stop for lunch at some point, and I also have a phone call at 3 with a candidate. Uh, dead reckoning. Yeah, you can dead reckon. You can dead reckon very well, but, you know, it's always nicer to have a GPS uh, to help you out. Yeah, pigeons, they're integrated in everything. Uh, we ship. It's the same. The same GPS that was in the Great Panda is in the uh, is in the Kama two. Yeah, we're doing fine. Uh, how does the loss curve look over increasing distance on a road like this? You'll get out to. So we go into 192 meters or 10 seconds. Oh, the stream of what a software engineer does. Yeah, this is Twitch, you know, this is, this is YouTube, this is comma related. Uh, you know, you realize something. Our investors don't really care about us. You know, they're still, look, A16Z invested in Waymo. Look at that, right? Just shows that, I mean, do you believe in disruption or not? Every time, every time you hear this, every time you hear this, where it's like, this is it, man. These tech companies, they're going to be unstoppable. No, they're not. Right? Google, Facebook, like, wow, okay, you, people are like, oh, but Microsoft and Apple are still around. Yeah, but for every Microsoft and Apple, there's all those 90 era companies, 90s era tech companies that are not around anymore. Right? Like you pick the two that succeeded. There's so much survivorship bias. Right? These companies are all going to fail at some point. 
Oh, but Google, they're unstoppable. They acquire all their competition. Google can't even recognize their competition. Um, yo, okay, I will, I will chill for a second. By the way, if any of you guys have used Uniswap ever, you can go get 400 free Unicoins. I got like my UBI last night. I'm just hanging out last night and I got, I made like um, $3,500 in free crypto that was handed out by Uniswap. You know, like this shit's all the future, man. <laughs> you know, and I love, I love the disdain and the mockery for Uniswap on some of those things. You guys took VC money, it's disgusting. You know, Sushi Swap didn't take any VC money. <laughs> I love it. You know, I love it. You're seeing the future already. Um, it was uh, someone on Twitter. You know, uh, I forget. I forget exactly what it was. And it was a little. It was a little out there. Um, but they said like, you no longer have the the market selection procedures. No longer work at all to determine what's good. Um, all you have is kind of consensus. And comma is that consensus. Well, the future's written in solidity. Solidity is here to stay for way longer than we'd like. You know, like Viper's not going to get traction. There's going to be formal analysis tools around solidity. Uh, I, I don't want to go off on tangents about crypto, but... I'm very bullish on the space. Why won't we support Gray Panda forever? Um, because of fingerprinting 1.0. Gray Pandas are going to go away pretty soon. Black Pandas... Eh. As much as I want to deprecate Eons... Uh, I mean, Eon, Eon Classics will be deprecated. Um, Gray Pandas will be deprecated. Black Pandas and an Eon Gold? Eh. You know... We're going to become... The only problem that you're going to run into with the Black Panda and the Ungold is we're going to become more aggressive about the wheel touch at night. Driving alone? To relax, man. Make driving chill. It's chill. Why not fly? It's not about the destination. It's about the journey. Do I think NVIDIA buying ARM is a threat to the industry? No. I think, I think that what NVIDIA buying ARM is going to do, uh, Risk Five is coming around just in time. Uh, you know, Chris Latner is now working at uh, SI5 to build tooling around that stuff. Um, in a way, if you've heard about like accelerationist philosophy, NVIDIA buying ARM is just going to lead to ARM's demise faster. You didn't believe I'm driving with autopilot? Take a look. I haven't touched the wheel in forever. A little way, JJ. I'll touch the wheel, okay? And you don't believe. Believe. Believe, 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 believe. I would feel better knowing that it was like monitoring that truck next to me. It's not. Like if that truck swerved a little, it should swerve too. And eh, you know, you know, multi-camera, multi-camera, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, something like that, yeah. All right, let's just get past this truck. Blinker, touch. On blinker. Is Kama just a meme? No, Kama's an incredible piece of software. Have I seen Silicon Valley? Yeah. Yeah, 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 multicam. Yeah, yeah. Guys, we're gonna build multicam eventually. We're not ready yet. We're not ready. There's so much improvement still to be done with a single camera. Thinking and vision features. If you can't solve the problems with a single camera, multicamera's not going to help you. Do you need multi-camera? Yes. Will we have multi-camera? Sure. Get ready to pay out the ass for it, you know? It's going to cost a lot of money. <laughs>
Um, you know what? You can decide. I mean, we're going to let the consumers decide. Do you? We're going to sell Kama 2s for a long time. Um, Kama 2s. Kama 2s are here to stay for a while. Like I've said, it's 1.0 hardware. Um, you know, people are like, oh, the thermal issues, the thermal issues. We're fixing them in the next Neo S with, uh, with uh, a slight down clock to the CPU. I don't want to put anything on the roof. As soon as you're outside the cabin, you expose yourself to all sorts of annoyances. Uh, the thermals you have to tolerate out there are even crazier. I mean, that's that's operating thermals, not just... Uh, I mean, at least we can say system overheated uh, and we can fall until... Because, you know, it turns out electronics are comfortable in the same range as, as humans, the same, like, temperature range. Um, I wonder why that is. I wonder if that's a fundamental fact about the universe or if that's... Uh, yeah, you know, you only, you only lie on yourself. Um, if you fake things. But yeah, no, and we're gonna let, we're gonna let people decide, right? If you think of the comma 2 as like AP1 hardware, uh, is there eventually gonna be AP2 style hardware? Yeah, it's gonna cost more. Is your company a billionaire? Probably, probably not yet. Um, so a, a, we have a very hard lower bound on Kama's valuation at 200 million. I'm not going to go into why, but that is a very real lower bound. Um, upper bound on Kama's valuation, you can make arguments for a billion. Uh, I think next year, a billion is going to become even more obvious. Um, and is going to become kind of the accepted valuation, maybe even a little bit higher, uh, if we get some of these things working. If thinking and vision features works, if, um, you know. Um, if by design more expensive, yeah, yeah, you want, you want to buy the parts that are rated for higher temperature ranges. They cost more, uh, there's more work in qual, all that sort of stuff. No computer can work on Venus. I don't think that's true. I mean, you just have to... I think you'll just have to build, like, a cabin for it, right? I don't know. I don't know what the fundamental limitations are for, like, designing high-temperature silicon and stuff. Um, I'm holding the wheel a little bit because I don't want to hit a cone. Yeah, it's a dash cap. And that beeps, and that shouldn't beep. I was complaining about why that beeps. We're going to get better at it. Willem mentioned the alert reduction project for 08. We're going to try to reduce the number of Sparius alerts. I don't know that much about graphene. No, nothing roof mounted. Nothing goes on the roof. You know, you know, do you know how happy our localization team would be if we could put the GPS antenna on the roof? Oh, they'd be so happy. You know, you lose <laughs> the signal is so attenuated by the shitty windshield, but eh, I'm not holding the wheel anymore. I'm like, if it hits a cone, it hits a cone. I'm not gonna hit a cone. Uh, does it record? The driver facing camera recording is optional. What? They closed the highway? All right, I, I gotta go. I gotta figure out why the highway's closed. Thank you all for watching. Um, who closed the highway? <laughs> I gotta figure out how to get around this. Um, maybe now's about time to eat some lunch, too. All right. Thank you all for watching. We appreciate all of you. We are hiring, especially if you're interested in building navigation. Give me a job at comma.ai. Um, or comma AI slash jobs. Or if you think you're really good, just email me. Uh, George at comma.ai. Bye.